Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze. I look like I'm Adeze today. <laughs> and Adeze means princess. Yeah, so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all about baby names that I like, but unfortunately, for one reason or the other, I won't be able to give that name to my baby girl. Yes, you guys know that I'm pregnant and I'm going to be due. I don't say, I need to say sometime soon, but it's not soon. It's not soon. I, need, I wish it was soon. It's not soon, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually, I've actually been thinking about baby names and I just decided to film this video and tell you all about baby names that I really like, you know, and I really wish I could use them, but I'll also tell you the reasons why I cannot use them. Some of them are Nigerian names, some of them are English names or, well, English names, Hebrew, whatever. But what we, class, what we classify as English names. Yeah, if you would like to know those names, then just keep on watching. So, um, for anybody who doesn't know, I have two daughters already. One is Cora Alicia, and the other one is Ava Mesoma. And I'm having a girl. This is going to be my third girl. And for some reasons, it was almost as if all the all the girl names I knew has have flown out of my head. Like uh, it was a little bit, um, I won't say difficult, but it has been a little bit more challenging for me to name this girl. And how we name our babies in this house is in my household, in my home. How we we prefer to name our babies is that I come up with the baby names. So I come up with a list of baby names that I know that any name from that list, I'm fine with it. And then I give the list to my husband and then he chooses the ones that, you know, he likes from that list, okay? So somehow, we're both naming the baby, but I come up with the names, okay? Um, he's of the opinion that as the mother, as the person carrying the child, that I should be the one to name the child, you know? And one thing about us is that we don't just give names for the sake of giving names. I don't really care about all my kids having the same, um, you know, language names, like all of them having English names, all of them having Igbo names. And I also don't care about them having names that start with the same alphabet or names that are similar. As in, I don't even care about my children's name being co cohesive or coherent, not coherent. Well, I just don't care about their names matching, okay? In any way, shape or form. I also do not like giving my children names that I really don't like the meaning. The meaning of my children's names are very, very important to me. Yeah, so that being said, let's just jump right into the list, okay? Now, the first name for obvious reasons, I love this name so much, but I cannot give it to this baby, and that name is Adeze, okay? My name. <laughs> yes, I love the name Adeze. Um, of all the other names, that's actually my favorite. It's my best. I, I love Ada. I, I love my name, okay? I love my name, and today I'm looking like my like a princess. <laughs> I decided to dress like this because it's a baby girl. I don't know. I don't know. I just decided to dress like this. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love the name Adeze, but I won't be giving my daughter Adeze. It's not even because she's a third child, because many people always say it's for the first daughter or whatever. I don't believe in that. I can have seven girls and give the seventh one Adeze if I want to. But I do not like having a junior, okay? What I mean by a junior is someone who took after her mother's name or someone took after his father's name or vice versa or whatever. I do not like having a junior. That is why I cannot give my daughters. I didn't even give, give the name to Cora. I just don't like having a junior, okay? I want every child to have their own paths or have their own names or whatever. Like, there are too many names in this life. Why must it be my name that you come and carry? <laughs> you know? Now, the next names, and this one's too, for obvious reasons, uh, um, you know, my children's, my current children's names, okay? I mean, people don't know that Cora is actually an Igbo name. I think I've said it before, and I'll, I also put the meaning in my description box because it's a frequently asked question that I get on this channel a lot. Even in real life, people are always asking me, what is Cora? What does it mean? Actually, the name is actually Cora. It's not supposed to be Cora, it's supposed to be Cora. And the full name is Cora Fuma Chukun. Let the world see the beauty of God, okay? Yes, I love that name so much. Miss Machuku means goodness of God as well, and that's Eva's second name. Um, Cora's second name is Alicia, which, which means protected by God. That's a Hebrew name. And Eva's first name is also a Hebrew name, which means life or life of God or the living one or, yeah, just life. The next name I love so much but I won't be giving my daughter is 
well, my child, because if I was having a boy, it's the name I would have given my son, and the name is Kenechuku. I love the name Kenechuku so much. It means thank God, you know. It's a very simple name, but I love the name, like, just thank God, like, always thank God. I think the, middle, the meaning of the name is actually something that you should be reminded of daily or hourly or anytime your name is being called, you should be reminded that you're supposed to thank God because it's by His grace that we are all here today, breathing and doing well and alive and all that, okay? So, uh, mostly girls answer Kenichi, while boys answer Kenichuku. Then the next name is, ah, oh, see, eh, let me tell you, if I had a son, this would have been his first name or maybe second, but it would have been one of his names, okay? And that name is Chidubem, okay? Chidubem means God God will continue to guide me or God is guiding me or something, yeah, something like that or God is leading me, okay? I love that name so much. I have a family friend who's, um, that's her, her first son's name and I love, I've always loved the name anyway, so, but I don't know, for some reason, after she named her son's name, I started liking the name more, yeah, so Chidu Ben would have been my son's name if I was having a boy, but yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be using that name. And the next name is Chimamanda, okay? Chimamanda, Chimamanda. <laughs> I'm not sure of the right pronunciation. Please, you guys should not come for me. Bikonu, don't come for me, please. Yeah, so I love the name so much. It means that my God will not fail or my God will not fall, okay? The literal meaning is my God will not fall or my God cannot fall. Yeah, or my God will not fall or will not fail. The next one I like is actually a girl name is Chimnora. You guys, this one, I know I mother this name. God, I, I pray. Chim Nora, Chim Nora, Chim Nora, yes, it's Chim Nora, Chim Nora. <laughs> anyway, it means once my God is, or, or my, once my God is there, or sin, or for, or as long as my God is there, or something like that. I'll go and research this name very well. I only heard it once and I just noted it then I was like, I'll, I'll do more research on the name and I haven't. But yes, Chim Nora. So the short form is like Nora. Yeah, Nora, Cora, whatever. I think I like names like that. Nora, Cora, Eva, short, short names like that. But yeah, um, I love the name Chim Nora. It just means something like as long as my God is there or something. And we know our, our God is always going to be there. So I love the name, okay? Now let me go to Yoruba names. I know I've mentioned mostly Igbo names, but I'm sorry, I'm Igbo. So uh, it's only normal for me to gravitate more towards Igbo names, okay? Yeah, now for... Yoruba names that I like, two of them that I like, I love so much is number one, Ayomide. Oh, I love that name. It means my joy has arrived. Short form is Ayo or Mide or something. Yeah, but I love Ayomide. And then the second one is Oluwatobi, which is God is great. Please, if you're Yoruba, tell me the meaning of Oluwatobiju. Or am I just missing two names together or something? Am I mixing two names together or something? I thought there is a name called Oluwatobiju. Or is it from a song or something? Anyway, I love the name Toby, Oluwa Toby. Um, yeah, short from Toby. I love that name so much and it means God is great, okay? Yeah, so now let's jump into the English names. I'm done with the Nigerian names. And for the English names, the first one that, if this was a boy, for sure, for sure. In fact, I'm, I'm looking for a way to even name my daughter that name. If there's a female version, I will name my daughter that name, okay? And that name is Nathan, okay? If this was a boy, for sure, for sure, that would have been his name. I love the name Nathan, and it means God has given. Um, I've had the name on my list for years, but, you know, I didn't have any boys. So, yeah, but I love the name Nathan. It means God has given. It's a perfect name. Like, my son was going to be Chidubem Nathan, okay? Chidubem Nathan Kenechuku. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that reminds me, my mom also gives my children names as well. It's not really a Yoruba, um, it's not really an Igbo tradition for everybody to name your child. I know that Yoruba people have such tradition where grandmother brings name, grandfather, paternal, maternal, all those things in here. No, my own is just, I think it's just the parents that name their children. And maybe your father can name, like your the grandfather can also name, but... In my own case, my mom named my children as well, and the name she gave Cora is Chinenyenwa. I mean, as the name implies, it's God that gives children, um, and it's simply because she had a conversation with my husband when I was still when we were still waiting to conceive, and while she was, you know, asking him questions and everything, and he told her, "See, you have to relax because oh, Chinenyenwa is God that gives children, so you cannot you cannot do more than yourself, <laughs> you know." So. 
she that name stuck in her head and after Cora was born, she was calling Cora Tina Yen In fact, then when they ask her, what's the baby's name? She'll say, the baby's name is Tina Yen Wan, but I dad named her Cora. I'm just like, whose name is supposed to be first? <laughs> You know, she said my daughter named her Cora, but her name is Sina Yenwa. And then for Ava, my mom gave her Chimamanda. Okay, yeah. I think that part of why the name is on this list and I can't use it, yes, because it's actually um Ava's Ava's third name at, at this point. Yeah. Ava's third name is Chimamanda, while Cora's third name is Chine Yenwa. So the next English name that I love so much, but I won't be using it for reasons best known to me. That name is Zoe or Zoe, okay? Now let me just tell you the stupid reason why I'm not going to be using this name. Because Jamie and Nikki, their first child is Ava, their second child is Zoe. So if I now go and name my uh, uh, my second child Ava and my third child Zoe, it's not as if it's, uh, it's I'm copying them. <laughs> it's not, okay? Well, that's a stupid reason because I can still name my child Zoe if I want, but. Yeah, I don't think it's a name. I don't think my husband really likes the name, but I love the name so much. Um, Zoe or Zoe. Okay, yeah, I remember that reason. The meaning is actually the same meaning with Cora's name, with Eva's name, which means life of God. Okay, Zoe or Zoe means living one as well, um, or the life of God. Okay, so it's basically the same thing with Eva's name. So. Yeah, that's another reason why I'm not going to be using that name, but I love the name so much. It has also been on my list for years, okay? And yeah, the last one on the list, this name has been on my list for years. <laughs> and yeah, and it's because when I was praying, then when I, when I didn't have a child, I used to pray to God I want to have twins as my first and only children. I wanted just twins once and for all, okay? I was like, I'm going to name my children Victor and Victoria. Um, that would be their English names, you know, when I eventually have the twin boy and girl. Yeah, unfortunately, it did not happen that way, <laughs> you know. But there are still names that I love so much. I love Victor and Victoria. I also like the name Elizabeth. I had it on my list as well. In fact, I was very close to naming Eva Elizabeth. I love the name so much. I've forgotten the meaning. Yeah, I've forgotten the meaning. So yeah, that's basically it. Those are the names that I have on my list. Um, uh, this child, have I gotten her name? Yes, partially, me and my husband have decided on a name for her, but me, I'm not yet a hundred percent on it, but my husband is okay with it. I came up with the name, so, and he, he agreed with them, but at the same time, I'm just like, I'm not really feeling them. Maybe when I give birth and name her those names, I will start feeling it more, but I absolutely love the meaning of the names. Like, I love the meaning and I love the sound and everything of the names. It's just that I've, I've not yet connected it to the baby. Yeah, so that's it. Anyway, that's just the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I see this video flying around and I'm like, hmm, I like watching videos like this. So maybe it can actually help one or two moms out there. Yeah, if there are any names on my list that are also on your list, let me know in the comment section. Or if there are names that you're just hearing for the first time or are not on your list or whatever and you might consider them after this video, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be really happy if I'm instrumental to the naming of your child, okay? You will come and pay me my royalty for naming your child after the names that I chose. <laughs> The same way I'm gonna pay Jamie and Nikki for Ava, even though I've always had Ava on my list, but the name became more prominent to me after Jamie and Nikki named their child Ava. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.